marriage if you have access to this information, especially if you have got a revelation for our Lord Jesus Christ. For the Bible says, without me you can do nothing. You can do nothing. In Ephesians 5, verse 24 and 25. So her status doesn't matter. Yes, she's SG, but she's my wife. You have to submit. I'm not the one saying so. The Bible says so. Then verse 25 says, Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church that he gave his life for her. We have to love our wives just as Christ loved the church. And he died for the church. You guys, you can defy that and you will continue having challenges. You can defy it. The word has never been suppressed. The word lives on. I trust in the word. And I think I will continue trusting in the word. I will continue loving my wife and protecting her. Thank you. And in my life, the senior priests, not only one, who declined to wed us because they were so busy with other things. These days, that the people who come to me for this or the other. The grace of God has carried us this far. Keep with God, you never regret. I want to thank in a special way my parents, the late Kalori Kasule. He was a semi literate. He only knew how to write in Uganda and he had a good handwriting. But at that time, for him to have taken a grandchild to school, for him to leave whatever he wanted to have, to pay school fees for us girls to go to school, I give it all to him and thank God for the Catholic Church that kept with him and guided him. At one point, things were not easy. But I walked to one person who had been my teacher of English language in senior two. And after senior four, I told her, I sat senior four, I got division one, but my father is hospitalized. I cannot make it to university, I mean it to HSC. Help me and take me to Iganga TTC so that I can study and be a teacher like you. She told me since you got division one, I'm going to look for a way of paying for your school fees. And she would make me, during holidays, to work in the garden of the school of Chikuru girls for me to get school fees. That is Sister Rosalia Babili. She's here. Plus, my father who died, and their friends who helped me, we molded into a woman who lives by and who lives with not values, but Catholic virtues. Sister Rosalia Babilie took care of me. Sister Rosalia Babilie. Mbioge ni mulusu. Kamize mulusu. Ni mulusu. And I want to thank you, Mr. Momba, for being what you are to me. I want to thank you for being what you are to us as a family. Mr. Mumba, that we were some. We were not always some one day. We were always so humania. We are banga. We go on ya. We mean no change. We go on high. We go on ya. We mean no change. We go on ya. Now, did we have challenges? Yes, we did. I had challenges in the first phase. No, in the second phase, that's reality. But 
want to thank God that during that phase I got a revelation. I got a revelation. I got to know God. And when I got to know God, things changed. And I remained so for the better. One reason why marriage is fail, and I want to speak, speak specifically to men, please, if you're a man, listen to me. Because you may not hear this from another source. The reasons why marriage is fail, I want to speak from the perspective of a man. The marriages which fail is because the ladies are not married to men. They are married to males. <laughs> There's a difference between a male and a man. If I had remained a male, my marriage was going to fail. What's a male? The Uganda word for male is a nume. What does a nume do? The nume only goes on fertilizing eggs. The male never stays to take care of the young ones. It fertilizes and goes. This applies to a male dog, to a bull, a ram, a cock, a turkey. All males have the same characteristics. If you remain a male, you cannot keep a marriage. Then what's a man? Biblical manhood talks of five Ps. A man must submit under the five Ps. The number one, presence. You must be present for your family. In 2011, because I saw Justin was be getting busy with her job, I resigned my government job to take care of my family. You must be present. We cannot all be chasing for money. At the care express of my sons, who is going to be there for them? Number two is provision. A man must provide for his family. And when we are talking about provision, we are not talking about the basic of food, shelter, and clothing. No, that is the basic. A man must go beyond that. You must provide wisdom. You must provide counsel. You must provide camaraderie. A man must be do that. Must do that. Number three. A man must be a protector for his family. You must protect your family. You must be there. And protection is not only physical protection, but even moral. You must censor the films that your children watch. You must censor the videos. You must censor the friends. You, you cannot just be all over the place and you think you are raising a generation. A man is a protector. A man is the warrior in the home. Number four, a man is a priest. A man must lead his family to God. You must pray for them. You have to get up and go and pray with your children. You have to pray with them every morning, every evening. That's a man. Man has to be there for that. Number five, the man is the prophet in the home. You must speak good of your family. You must predict what is going to happen. You must only speak things that will come to pass. Never say, you see this one is very like Jaja Jaja. No, 
Sifle, stop negative energy. And lastly, the man must be the promoter, the number one promoter of his family. He must be the number one cheerleader of the family. I am in the background. I cheer her on. I'm the number one encourager. The man is like you see workers' house or preset towers. The man is the foundation in the home. The foundation is not seen. Many people say, but we don't know you. You cannot know me. I'm at the foundation. I'm holding that super building. You can only see the superstructure. You can't see the foundation. Anything that happens to a family means there is a problem with the foundation. There was a faulty foundation. There were cracks on the foundation. The foundation was weak. So anything that you build on the foundation is going to be faulty.